Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make caramel popcorn. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I'm really excited to be back in the kitchen with you because this is the first video that I'm filming since having my son, Luke. So today we're doing a pretty easy recipe. Hopefully the baby doesn't interrupt us, we'll see. But it's also really good, super delicious. I think you're going to love it. Now, to get started, the first thing you'll want to do is get your oven preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you're going to need a standard sized cookie sheet and you'll want to line this with aluminum foil. We'll just lightly grease this with a little bit of cooking spray and I like to work that in with a paper towel. That way we have a nice even layer. Now the next thing you're going to need is 10 cups of popped popcorn. Now you can pop this popcorn yourself, leave it unsalted and unbuttered. You can do that in an air popper, in a cast iron Dutch oven, that would be fine. Or you can use a store-bought pre-flavored popcorn. That's gonna give this caramel corn a deeper, richer flavor. Either one is going to be totally fine and it's going to taste delicious. So just whatever your preference is, is fine. Now I'm just going to pour this onto our prepared baking sheet. You just want to layer this popcorn evenly over the baking pan and then we're going to pop it in our oven. It's okay if the oven's not at 250 degrees yet. We just want to keep this popcorn warm while we prepare our caramel coating. We want to do that because it's going to make it a lot easier to spread the caramel if the popcorn's already warm. I'm going to drop this in the oven. Our popcorn's staying nice and toasty, so now we're going to head over to our stove top. You're going to need a medium-sized saucepan and you'll need one stick or one half cup of unsalted butter. We're going to just cook this over medium heat until the butter is melted. Once the butter is melted, we're going to add our brown sugar. You're going to need one and a third cups of brown sugar total. I like to use a blend of light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. So I use one cup of light brown, a third cup of dark brown. The dark brown just adds a little bit of extra depth of flavor. I just like using the blend. It also makes the color a little nicer. We're also going to add one fourth cup of light corn syrup. Now, some people don't like to use light corn syrup. I'm not entirely sure why, because it's really not the same thing as high fructose corn syrup, which has a really bad reputation. And this is absolutely necessary for making caramel corn. I do not know of a substitute that would work instead. This is going to give us that nice candied coating on top. We're also going to need to add one half teaspoon of salt. Now, if you are using a store-bought microwave popcorn that's already been flavored, sometimes I'll cut this down just a little bit and use a scant half teaspoon instead. We're gonna keep our heat on medium. You do not wanna crank up the heat at this point. We're just gonna stir everything together and we're going to cook it until it comes to a boil. Now, once this mixture is boiling, we're going to continue to cook it for three minutes. I like to use a timer for this step and you wanna stir it frequently. So once you've cooked this for three minutes, we're going to remove it from heat. And we have two key ingredients left to add. One is 3 fourths teaspoon of vanilla extract, and the other is a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda might seem like a strange ingredient, but it's going to help this caramel spread over the popcorn a little bit better, and it's also going to help that candy coating be a little more brittle, a little more snappy, rather than chewy. You don't want a chewy caramel coating that sticks to your teeth. You want it to break a little bit under your teeth. We'll just stir this together until the color is nice and uniform and everything's well combined. Now grab your popcorn out of the oven. It should be nice and toasty. And we'll drizzle this caramel over top that popcorn. If you'd like to add nuts, you want to add them at this point. You'll want a cup of nuts. Your preferred kind is just fine. Now, when I was a kid, I always used to get caramel corn with peanuts, so that's what I'm adding here. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the caramel. Now you want to use a spatula to stir the popcorn and the caramel and the nuts all together. You want to get this popcorn as well coated as you can, but don't stress if you can't get it entirely coated. I like to aim for about 75% of the popcorn coated at this point. We'll be able to get the rest while we're cooking it. I'll show you that in just a bit. You want to be gentle about stirring this popcorn too because you don't want to break it all up into small pieces and you don't want to smash it. So I like to use a spatula and kind of a gentle hand. You also don't want there to be any puddles of caramel at the bottom. So when I first poured the caramel on, it's going to puddle right where I set it. Make sure you scrape that up with your spatula and turn it into your popcorn. That way you don't have any big globs of caramel. 
All right, now we're going to return this tray to our 250 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven. You'll want to place it on the center rack in the middle of your oven, and we're going to bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes. We're going to stop, take it out of the oven every 10 to 15 minutes, and stir everything again. So this has been cooking for 15 minutes now, so we're going to use our spatula and stir everything again. We'll be able to get some of that 25% of popcorn that we didn't get coated, coated here while we're doing it. We're also encouraging this caramel corn to cook evenly, that way it'll be nice and crisp when it's finished baking. Sometimes that foil gets annoying, but I really recommend using it. It makes cleanup so much easier and keeps you from ruining your baking pans. All right, now back to the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Then we'll do the same thing. After another 15 minutes, we'll stir everything again. Again, we're just trying to encourage even cooking. You wanna have those nice crisp caramel shells. Just get everything moved around and broken up as much as you can. Take this back to the oven for another 15 minutes and then we'll be finished. Now after 45 minutes, our popcorn is finished cooking. So I am going to just stir it one more time with a spatula. Just to make sure any pieces that are any big clumps get nicely broken up. And we're going to let this cool completely on the baking sheet before we dig in. Now, if you want to eat this while it's still warm, I don't really recommend that because it's going to be chewy. You want to wait for it to cool completely. That way the caramel corn is nice and crisp. You need that caramel to harden and it's not going to harden completely until it's cooled completely. So let that sit before you dig in. And that is how you make caramel popcorn at home. If you guys try this recipe, I really want to hear what you think of it. Let me know how you like it. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm. That's good.